Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. We are here at, of course, America's most awesome music venue. That is the Gorge Amphitheater here in beautiful George, Washington. Red Rocks, you can suck it. Hey, listen. One of the questions we have, and it's an interesting question because if you start scouring the RCWs, you may not be able to actually find the answer unless you know where it's hidden in our statutes. So today, from the Gorge, let's talk about, can I bring a firearm to an outdoor concert event in Washington State? Okay, before we get going too far down that road, let's talk about today's sponsor, which of course is Legal Heat. That's right, America's largest educator of concealed carry classes, Legal Heat has now taught over a quarter million people nationwide since they started doing this in 2005. Now listen, for everybody nationwide, you can find a class real close to your own backyard by visiting them at mylegalheat.com. And listen, if you find a class and you wanna sign up, go ahead and use the promo code Washington Gun Law. that is all one word, Washington Gun Law, and you will receive 15% off. But for my folks in Washington State, where we no longer have any type of freedom, well, the good folks at Legal Heat, they are aware of that. And so right now for a limited time, if you sign up for a class and you can find classes at any one of these locations right here in Washington State and you use the promo code WGL free, that's WGL free, where you're going to receive that class absolutely free. And that's whether you want to do a beginning handgun class or something really, really advanced, whatever class you like, use the promo code WGL free and you're going to that class for free. So listen, for more information, whether you live in Washington or anywhere else, closer to something resembling the United States of America, you can learn more by visiting my good friends at mylegalheat.com. That is mylegalheat.com. Okay, so what we're talking about today are the laws in Washington State as it relates to bringing a firearm to any outdoor concert event in the state of Washington. This could be a really, really short video. It's the state of Washington. What do you think the answer is? The answer is hell no, you cannot do that. However, if you go look at an RCW 9.41, RCW 9A, or any of those other areas, you're not going to find the applicable statute. Rather, instead, the statute is found in RCW 70.1. 30.150, which reads as follows. It shall be unlawful for any person, except law enforcement officers, to carry, transport, or convey, or to have in his or her possession or under his or her control any firearm while on the site of an outdoor music festival. But listen, there's some real interesting nuances in this statute you need to be aware of, including mandatory jail time, because the next paragraph in the very same statute reads as follows. Any person violating the provisions of this section shall be guilty of a misdemeanor and upon conviction thereof shall be punished by a fine of not less than $100 and not more than $200 or by imprisonment in the county jail for not less than 10 days and not more than 90 days or by both. So the bottom line is, is if hypothetically you were to be ch charged in Grant County, Washington with having a firearm on this premises and you happen to have a judge in Grant County, not commenting on the quality of the bench here, that decided that they needed to put you in jail for this violation, at a minimum, they have to put you in jail for 10 days. So the bottom line is, Washington State, when you're coming into a concert venue, you know you cannot bring a firearm. now. For those of you who've been here before, you know that, well, they got metal detectors everywhere on the way in. So that always is another good indicator that firearms are not gonna be permitted. But the bottom line is, is if you attempt to bring a firearm into an outdoor concert facility, you are actually in violation of state law and face mandatory jail time. Listen, you may have more questions about this or anything else related to what's left of our Second Amendment rights here in this state. If you do, remember, you can always contact Washington Gun Law at the information listed below. In the meantime, I do want all of you to remember that part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here, is to know what the law is in every situation and how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. From the amazing Gorge Amphitheater here in George Washington, thanks for watching and stay safe.